My name is Boyan Meulia, and since 2002, I have been running the social enterprise Središća uh, Rotunda Koper. Uh, I'm also a lecturer at uh, University of Primorska as a lecturer and a researcher at the Faculty of Management in the field of non-governmental organization and project management. Uh, I would like to say something about the Središća Rotunda uh, was established in 2002 and uh, we have the programs uh, which deals mainly with uh, with educations um, we are uh, uh, having programs pr programs uh, regarding to the needs and uh, our uh, our distress in the region uh, we are a re regional promoter of uh, in the field of active uh, citizenship, lifelong learning, <clears throat> and we, we, are, we are trying to improve our life, our lives in in the region. So um, we are very glad to be the arrival region project partner. We are uh, um, we lead uh, the re realization of a work package which focuses on pilot actions uh, with all our staff we are trying to and also external external partners we are try to uh, uh, manage things uh, and uh, dealing with margin marginalized groups um, rotunda will specially contribute to the projects projects communication in the region um, and hopefully we lead to increased capacity and of course the knowledge about social, social innovation approaches uh, for successful integration of non-EU nationals in the re uh, local region especially. Uh, in following I would like to explain about the actual situation of COVID-19 in our region and in Slovenia uh, including the uh, June 3rd, uh, so a couple of days ago, we have tested more than uh, 82,000 people. Uh, and in, Slo in Slovenia, we have uh, 1,477 confirmed cases of COVID-19. Um, a little bit uh, uh, more women than men. And we have still eight or nine active cases in, host in hospitals, but not they are not uh, on respirators. So uh, we, we, we didn't have any new cases in the few days. Um, so uh, I would like to tell that we have two, uh, 305 confirmed cases between uh, healthcare professionals and associates and uh, 460 confirmed cases in nursing homes. So basically <clears throat> in Slovenia the first case of infection was confirmed on March the 4th and um, up to including uh, 3rd of June 2020 uh, 109 people died in Slovenia so um, but more or less 85 percent of deaths were over the 65 years of age um, in our region um, we had uh, 24 people uh, which was infected and one person died so uh, it was not so uh, emergent situation um, the spread of COVID-19 in Slovenia is currently slowing down uh, so the government cancelled the ep epidemic on May, May, uh, on May 15 uh, so uh, all the decision was made by assessment by the National Institute of Public Health and despite the current release of measure all mass gatherings in public places uh, where more than 200 individuals would gather in the same place are still prohibited in Slovenia. 
masks masks are recommended where it is not possible to maintain the distance of at least one meter and a half. Um, all hotels, wellness centers, gyms, swimming pools, and water activities are open. Uh, discos are closed. Shops uh, remain cl uh, closed on Sundays, and uh, also the presence of spectators in uh, sports competitions are also prohibited. Uh, the kids are back in primary schools. Uh, the secondary schools are still some uh, measures. Um, so since the proclamation of pandemic on March the 12th, uh, the government of Slovenia, uh, the inhabitants of our region have insulated themselves at home. They, we mainly work from home. Uh, so we have been waiting and strictly adder <clears throat> adhered to instructions and restrictions. Also because of this, the number of infections was small. Um, I think that pandem pandemic will not have a significant impact on the immigration of new migrants. So basically, because the most cases uh, are economic migrants from the countries of uh, the former Yugoslavia, who, who come here to, to work at season, at, to, at uh, specific tourist centers, or some for the needs of agri agriculture or constructions. Um, so some of the countless stay and start a family. Um, so what are about our uh, project activities? Project activities were, made, uh, were maintained during the pandemic with all stakeholders, mainly through communications via electronic media. And we obtained consents for cooperation for the local alliance and proposed activities for the inclusion of an additional program for the school uh, for the year school 2002-2021. So the first training uh, for stakeholders is uh, scheduled for August uh, before the start of the pilot activities. So personally, I am very pleased uh, with the current positive responses to the end of uh, insulation period and the slow return back to normal. Uh, although responsible treatment of myself and my colleagues, uh, co-workers, will still be required because uh, there is a fear of reoccurrence of COVID-19, um, we will continue to communicate with our stakeholders and establish the conditions for the start of the pilot action in August. So, see you.